Hey, Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. We are one week away from Ravnica Remastered coming out, and from the tail of the tape and pre sales, it's on par to be the worst Magic release in history. Well, let's take a look at it, compare the numbers, and see if there is any hope or if it will be the worst. So before we get started, don't forget, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, subscription is a free way to support the channel. You can also like me over on Rumble if that's the kind of platform you're down with. Uh, TCG player eBay links in the description. Patreon, we're doing member support now for live, uh, live streams and so forth. So check it out. See all the stuff early. So... With all that said, and still no contact from ShamWow, let's take a look at the numbers for Ravnica Remastered and what it could mean to start off the year for Magic. So, let's take a look at the sale numbers. This is from TCG Player. Uh, this is Ravnica Remastered versus Dominary Remastered. Um, so, just in general, as you can see here, the blue is Ravnica Remastered. Ravnica Remastered uh, is toting right around 160k in sales, give or take, at the filming of this video. Um, and you may say, well, 160,000 doesn't seem too bad. Well, this is the sales uh, totals for Dominary Remastered. Now, mind you, this is only on TCG Player. There could be sales outside of this, which change this whole situation but TCG player sales is what this is based off of from their sales history so you see here at this point in time it looks around uh, close to 450 so 160 versus 450 almost 3 to 1 um, if not close to 3 to 1 for Dominaria Remastered um, that is terrible. Uh, you guys want to know how to read this. This is the amount of money sold up here. Down here is the number of days till release. Uh, we're getting close to being 10 days. Uh, even if this does go up a little bit, this chart's also going up. Um, it's not looking good. Uh, and if you guys remember, Dominary Mastered was printed like crazy. Fire sold on Amazon repeatedly. And right now, Dominaria or Master, I think it's still $130 for a collector box. The price on these products is $270 ish for collectors and $170 for draft. It costs more to buy a draft box than it does a Dominaria Remastered box. I think that speaks volumes to not just how much people don't like this set, how much people don't think there's value in it, and to a degree of how much this set can collapse uh, and it's gonna be bad uh, and that's my personal opinion but all is not lost again we do know Dominary Mastered was printed to Oblivion there were no serialized cards um, and that could have some serious effect on why it's so cheap right now however if we're talking about sales the original sales aren't even there Regardless of the fact of how much is printed, if this is printed as much as Dominary Master was, that's going to be even worse and make this price more even more stagnant because people won't want it even more. Um, which may trigger a fire sale, them destroying product again. It's really hard to say. But all that said, this is comparing Remastered Set to Remastered Set. How does this stack up against normal sets? So, yes, this is a god-awful remastered set. Uh, we talked about what the best cards were getting reprinted yesterday, and they weren't great. Uh, serialized cards, you're going to have to carry it. Uh, but from what I've heard from people, that's just not enough. Some people want the serialized cards, uh, but they're very few and far between. So if we look at other sets um, in this same kind of light, compared to the sales of Dominair, uh, compared to the sales of Ravnica Remastered, uh, well, let's just take a look at this one here. Uh, Street Chinooka Pinna, a set that everybody swore was awful, still thinks is awful. I, I like it. I thought the whole mob thing was kind of cool. Old Mafia, Dawns, and whatever. Um, again, though, not the best set to play. Uh, still, you can see right here, here's where we're at. 
here is where Streets of New Capenna was, a standard set. Again, this standard set was so bad, collector boxes are 140 150 maybe cheaper. Draft and set boxes are below 100 um, And still, enough of these were sold to generate these massive sales at a cheap price. Because you got to remember, this not only counts the amount of dollars spent, but when you consider it a master product can cost anywhere from two to three times the cost of a normal product, um, that means the le the more sales there are, or I'm saying the less sales there are, the less boxes being bought, which means there's no demand for the product. So this is Streets of New Capenna. Again, we're looking above three to one, probably about four to one cash wise, uh, not box wise, cash wise. This product sold better during the pre-release uh, or pre-sales than remastered. And you may say, well, after that, it was it was not good. Well, if you look, it still rockets up. I mean, even if this follows the same trend, it's still going to be around here. And it's going to be four times less popular than Streets of New Capenna. Ew. Doesn't say a lot for the collectability of this product. I'm just saying. So next. Oh, look. We found some stuff. It actually sells better than. These are the only two that I found. Uh, again, we have remastered here. Yellow, we have Unfinity. Uh, and you see where that was at. And, uh, woo, that's uh, not saying a lot. And then, obviously, below that, we have uh, March of the Machines Aftermath, a real crap shoot of, uh, of a release. God, it's just so awful. Uh, I don't know if that price is ever going to repair itself. But again, you see this giant spike here. Um, I mean, Aftermath never really went back up because there was not enough cards in the set to make it demandable. But even Xfinity uh, card value went up. And as low as this is going, it would have to get about to here and then go straight up. I don't think we're going to see this straight decline. I think eventually, by the time we get to release, this blue line is going to go under the yellow line. And we're going to end up with a set that sold, that made less money on pre-sales and total sales than Unfinity, which was a great product when it came out. People were actually excited about it. But the sales weren't there, and not as many people were as excited about it as Wizards thought. And again, another product that was hyped up and pumped up and wasn't worth the value that it had. Again, in Infinity, remember, they reprinted Shocklands. Um, and Shocklands are supposed to be the big draw to Ravnica. They've reprinted Shocklands in several sets already, several Ravnica reprints, the Infinity deal... Shocklands is not the draw it used to be because people just have them. They're not going to, they're not fetches, they're not anything else. And with this, with, I mean, I even left them off the list we had yesterday about cards that were going to be great to reprint because they're already down to 10 to $15 a card. They're just not popular. And by the time it's all said and done, these boxes start getting open, they'll be down to about 5 or $10. It'll be really, really bad. Um, for Shocklands, especially since they're not being reprinted back into a standard format, making them popular because they're in standard. No, they're in the same formats they were in before, so there's no benefit to reprinting these Shocklands other than the money grab that Wizards is trying to pull off. So, in the grand scheme of things, what does that mean? So, I went through, and uh, let's just take a real quick look here. So, this is Ravnica Remastered. I went through the number of boxes that were sold uh, and divided it up. I rounded up just to do even numbers. There has been roughly through TCG Player 500 collector boxes, uh, give or take, in that dollar amount. Um, so that's the number of collector boxes that have been sold. That is awful. And that's making up about, I think, around 140K. Um of the value and as you can see on there they're going for 267 uh some people are buying them for that but you can also see in the background there 
you know, the price is dipping quite quickly. Um, you can see right here, it started really high. It has done nothing but plummet the whole time. People are buying them thinking they're at their lows. Guys, I don't think these are at their lows. I think this is going to be a remastered set that's going to come in around 150 to 160 a collector box. Um, if we're lucky, I think it's probably going to be worse than that, especially if no one buys it. There's so many listings, nothing getting sold. It's really a bloodbath. Um, and when you look at that compared to the draft box, which you have right here, I mean, look at this. It started out 189, has plummeted to 168, still costing more than the fire sale on Amazon, which a lot of people picked up. Uh, so there was no need for them to buy at a higher rate. So this, you know, everybody's talking about how this is this is a toxic asset, toxic asset, because so many were sold at the cheap rate that this rate is no longer going to be purchasable. Uh, some people are buying them, but I think that's just a mistake, uh, and they don't know any better. Uh, and if you take the remaining money that's left, uh, round it up, only 200 boxes of the draft have been sold through TCG Player at the filming of this video, um, which is not good. So, with around a week to go before release... I am going to predict that this is going to start the 2024 year off with a complete bust of a Magic Master set to the likes of Masters, uh, let's say 2021 that bankrupted everybody, or 25, or what, anyway. Um, yeah, this is going to be bad. Don't buy it, guys. It's not looking good. If I'm wrong, so be it. Uh, I'm wrong, and you have to pay a little extra for the box. But to be honest with you, like I mentioned yesterday, it's just cheaper if you need these cards to just buy the old ones because these reprints are going to drive the price down, make them cheap enough that the amount of money, $170 you'd spend on a box, you can get almost every card worth a damn out of the set in a older, cooler thing unless you must have a serialized card from this set, which... I'm not even sure that's worth it, to be honest with you. So, with all that said, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, be kind. And as always, I hope to see you across from the game table. Oh, boy. So you're starting off straight in the shitter.